So the top five completely free streaming services to kickstart your weekend. Let's jump right into it. First up, we have watchyour.tv. Let's start that up. Now, when you start this application for the first time, you'll see it's broken down into different sections. We have categories for classic sports. We have the boxing network. We have turbo network, uh, tavern TV, sports, uh, women's sports, main street, uh, frontier, so lots of different categories guys and if we go into one of these let's go into jewelry television for example we can see in this example there's actually only one vod stream and that starts playing straight away and let's just back out of that for a second and uh, let's just try the cartoon network and here we can see this section has a lot more content uh, let's try main street again we can see lots of different content in here and if you want to watch something uh, let's try this one over here and that should then start streaming on your device straight away and because he's done exactly that and will you believe it guys the actual service is youtube so let's start that up you will see on the left hand side there is actually a dedicated section for movies and shows and these are actually complete movies or complete shows that you can watch on your device absolutely free but of course it is going to be ad supported let's go to the right and we can see guys there's actually some great content on here and we can see all of them say they are absolutely free, but with ads. Um, let's say, for example, we're looking at this thing over here, Super Size Me. Let's click on that. And we can see straight away that starts streaming on our device. Let's just forward that a bit. And that's working great. Let's pause that for a second. Now, the great thing about these official streaming services is that they have the bandwidth. They have the capacity to handle, you know, so many connections. Whereby if you compare this to free services like third party streaming applications, because those applications are using free servers, unless you're using a paid service like RD or something like that, you're much more likely to get buffering or choppy playback when using those free services compared to an official service like this or any of the services I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, let's back out of that. And we can just see guys, just lots of content, lots of you know up-to-date modern content available on here. And all of it is absolutely free, just supported with adverts. Uh, let's just try one last thing. Uh, let's go for this thing over here. Click on that and there we are. We are now watching this movie absolutely free through the YouTube movies service application. Let's back out of that. Next up we have Plex. Now Plex is typically known as a service which provides access to movies and videos that you have stored on your home network. Now what people don't know is Plex also has a very large and I really do mean a very large library of free movies and TV show content as well. So let's open that up. Let's start with the movies first. And trust me when I say, I really am impressed with the content in here. You really got some great movies, great TV shows, lots of great stuff in here, guys. And of course, anything you do want to watch. So let's say, for example, you want to watch uh, this thing over here. Let's click on that. You will get to see a great summary of what you're about to watch. You'll get to see the IMDb rating, how long it is. I can just click on play. Give that a couple of seconds and I should then start streaming onto my device straight away. You may see an advert. Oh, no, we don't. So that starts playing. And let's just forward that a bit. And that's working great. Let's back out of that. Uh, you got most popular. So you definitely recognize some of the, the content in here. Uh, you got series spotlight. I mean, I'm just whizzing through here, guys, but we can just see there really is a, a lot of content on here. So this was a section for movies and TV shows. And we also have another section just for web shows. So this is like internet based shows. So we've got sections for uh, Vanity Fair, Nerdwire, and so on and so forth. Some game trailers, uh, TechCrunch. Uh, for example, you want to watch this thing about electric bikes. Let's click on that. Click on play. And that's working great. Okay, let's back out of that. Next up, we have foursome.tv. Let's open that up. Now this one actually you can get straight from the Amazon App Store and I really was impressed with the free content that was available on this application. Uh, so when you start the application for the first time, we have a section on the left for home. You have stuff that was recently added to the library. You have a family section. You can browse by year. This is for pure TV shows. And here's just a big alphabetical list. But if you go to the top here, so here we can see some of the new content that's been added to this service. Again, just uh, so much free content. And of course, if you want to watch something, um, I recognize this one here. Let's click on that. Good old Steven Seagal. 
give that a couple of seconds and we can see that starts playing straight away Again, this is going to be ad supported, but it doesn't necessarily mean you will see an advert for everything you click on. Okay, that starts up fine. So lots and lots of different movie content. If you go to the left here, we have a family section. You've got some cartoons. You've got some family dramas, book adaptations, uh, fantasy content, uh, adventure, uh, kids TV. <laughs> Who remembers Popeye? Let's click on that. And here we have all of the classic Popeye season one. And let's watch this one over here. Give that a couple of seconds and I should start playing straight away on my Amazon 4K Fire Stick. And we can see it's done exactly that. And let's just forward that a bit just to make sure that's working. And that's working great. Okay, let's back out of that. Next up, we have the Roku channel. Now, you may think that you must have a Roku device to access this, but they've actually opened this up to any device that has a browser. So you can do this directly on the Fire Stick using the Silk browser, or in my case here, I'm just gonna demonstrate using my computer. So once you get to the channel, you'll see they've got sections for drama. They've got featured section. Here you have all of the categories here. So for example, here we can see some of the new content they've added this month. Uh, this is a great film, this Crimson Tide. So if I want to watch that, I can click on play. Give that a couple of seconds and we can see that starts and that's working great. And that is in full HD 1080p guys. We can skip through that and that's working absolutely fine. Let's back out of that. So definitely you will see a lot of the newer content available on the Roku channel. And here we can see all of that content in that particular category. Lots of new content here as well. So we can see guys, just a ton of free content available through all of these different services. You can access absolutely free on pretty much any device that you have. Let's back out of that. Okay, so let me show you how you can install these applications onto your Fire Stick or really any Android device. Just open up your favorite browser. In my case, I'm going to use Downloader. Now inside Downloader, we can use this direct code to go straight to the page, which has all the information and the applications for these five streaming services. And that code is just 560-153. Let's type that in and click on go, or you can just press the play button on your remote. Here we are, so top five free streaming services, May 2022. Let's scroll down. And even if you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Friday, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Let's scroll down and for example, I want to download Foursome. I can click on this and click on the green download button. And this will download the latest version of this application. I can click on install and that's now all ready to go. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you are always looking for more streaming options, more legal streaming options. And I do think with the five options I've shown you in this video today, you'll definitely find something to watch. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.